Okay, so question number two. Is acetone polar or nonpolar, and will sodium chloride dissolve in it? Okay, so we have the Lewis structure of acetone, which is, can also be known as propanone. So it's a three carbon chain with a ketone on our second carbon. And we kind of get something like this. So to find out whether or not acetone is polar or nonpolar, we need to calculate the electronegativity differences between carbon and oxygen and carbon and hydrogen. So first let's do carbon and oxygen and look up their electronegativity values. Okay, so oxygen has an electronegativity of 3.5, and carbon has an electronegativity of 2.5. So the difference between the two is 1. So therefore, this bond is polar, and we know that because the electronegativity difference is greater than 0 0.4, but it's less than 1.5. Six, nine. Okay, so now let's calculate the electronegativity difference of a carbon and hydrogen bond. So carbon's electronegativity is 2.5 and hydrogen's is 2.1. So their difference is only 0 0.4, so the carbon hydrogen bond is nonpolar. So I can show a dipole moment kind of going towards the direction of the oxygen because uh, since oxygen is much more electronegative, there's going to be an uneven distribution of electrons. So I'm just going to write up here that we have a non-zero dipole moment. So therefore, this molecule is polar. So, since like dissolves like, it will dissolve in sodium chloride, since sodium chloride is also uh, polar. Okay, so we can kind of sketch out what this looks like. So because the oxygen is more electronegative, it makes acetone have partially positive and partially negative sides. So if we had a sodium chloride salt, we know that an ionic bond is formed between the sodium and the chlorine. But this positive sodium ion can be attracted to the partially negative oxygen on our acetone and this is how they can dissolve together. Okay, so the junior tutor said that the bond between the carbon and oxygen has a separation of charge due to electronegativity difference. Its structure does not also cause the cancellation of the dipole moment, thus acetone is a polar molecule. Sodium chloride has an ionic bond, which is a very strong bond, Acetone, which is not that strong as a polar molecule, cannot be able to dissolve sodium chloride since it cannot overcome the energy required for an ionic bond to break. 
Okay, so sodium chloride is polar as well, so they will be able to dissolve. I'm just going to say that since acetone is a polar molecule, it is still able to dissolve NaCl since all ionic compounds are considered polar. Thank you.